Cole. I am also Cole. If you're watching this video, then you know a huge decision lies in your path. Which energy source to choose? Here's a fun fact. Did you know the United States has the largest reserves of coal in the entire world? Since the U.S. has so much coal, it seems obvious which fuel source we should choose as we journey on through this adventure called the recession. In the time of a recession, we need to be using resources that we have in our own country and not importing goods from other countries. Oh yeah, and don't forget about the number of jobs that are in the coal industry. There are 100,000 jobs in the coal industry today. We wouldn't want to put 100,000 more people out of work right now, would we? Although coal contributes to global warming, I think most of us in America wouldn't mind it being a few degrees warmer. I mean, wouldn't we all like to live like Hawaiians? Now let's take a look at alternative sources of energy. The resources expended to refine crude oil and transport it to the United States make it much more expensive than coal. These gas prices are ridiculous. How am I going to afford this in a recession? Ugh. Oh, hey there. Natural gas actually isn't a bad source of alternative energy. Its effects are similar to coal's. 70% of the world's natural gas is stored in Russia, who happen to be our best friends. Farts are natural gas. Why don't they call it fart energy? As you can see, the sun doesn't shine all the time. We need another source for electricity. Oh, hey there! Gotta love the barbecue season. I'm just out here with my new George Foreman solar grill with the solar panel over here. I've been out here for about two hours now and I uh, still got a block of frozen sausage. But you gotta love to save the environment, right? As you know, California is in a massive drought right now and we need our water for other things. Ah. It's December now, and uh, this is the hardest it's rained all year. And I'm just out here trying to, you know, capture some of this hydropower. I'm really excited because I got about an inch of water here, and I'm, I'm really excited to... Damn it, James! I needed that water! Wind has recently become a popular source of energy. However, wind turbines take up valuable farmland. This farmer talks about his experiences with wind turbines. I'm offended, okay, that my neighbor would sell himself for money and not care what it did to me. Not everyone is jumping on the bandwagon. In fact, the turbines have set neighbor against neighbor. So you got Wind turbines there, transmission lines there, wind turbines there. Yes. Dale Rankin's property is surrounded by wind farms, and he's no fan of the giants dominating the landscape. I'm all for people making money. I'm all for people having a profit, making an income. But I think you need to be considerate of your neighbors when you're in that pursuit. And the turbines are multiplying. West Texas is the fourth largest nation for wind energy today. Right now we're at the Marin Geothermal Plant and I'm interviewing Mr. Bukowski. How are you doing? Well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. So what are you, what are you working on right now? Explain this to us. Um, well, recently we've been having uh, some problems with increased seismic activity due to the 
recently installed geothermal plant. As I was saying, um, oh my god, oh my god, watch your head, we're experiencing an earthquake!